there's a lot of questions being raised and being asked lately about what is emotional intelligence. Well, to me, the easiest part to understand about what is emotional intelligence is to contrast and to compare it with the kind of intelligence that we know, which is the cognitive intelligence or the academic intelligence or what we call as IQ. We usually use IQ and being popular with IQ because it's highly and very widely used at the school, at the university, or when people want to enter into the workplace, they will use the IQ. But the problem with the IQ is a lot of managers and leaders and management then see that the IQ is doesn't guarantee that the people will be very successful and will be very good in the career. This was also the reason why in 1995, Daniel Goleman is the one who made the concept of the emotional intelligence become so popular because in 1995, Daniel Goleman wrote a very popular book about emotional intelligence, which is emotional intelligence, why it matters more than IQ. I don't know whether you agree or not, because in that book, Daniel Goleman mentioned that EQ influenced more than the IQ. It influenced even about 60 to 80 percent of the success of life and career of the people. Well, I don't know whether you agree or not. When we look at in our life, we see a lot of students who get a very high score at school or at university or the top ranked students doesn't guarantee that they, they will be successful as well when they enter in the workplace. That's why this reality actually push or drive the practitioners or the people in the workplace to look for other factors that will be able to predict more about the future success. That's why they look at the emotional intelligence. So now let's define what is emotional intelligence. Well, there's a lot of definitions and explanations about what is emotional intelligence. Let's start the definitions from two professors who coined the term of emotional intelligence, which is Peter Salovey and John Major. According to these two professors, the definitions of emotional intelligence is our ability to monitor our emotion, others' emotions, to discriminate the emotions, to label them, and to use them to guide our thinking and behavior. That's the definitions of EQ according to them. Well, another definition of emotional intelligence is of course based on Daniel Goleman who popularized the term emotional intelligence. According to emotional intelligence of Daniel Goleman, he defined emotional intelligence as four parts, which is the self-awareness, the self-management, the social awareness, and the relationship management. Well, that's definitions according to Daniel Goldman. According to me, which is I make it more simple and I usually share it in my class and in my training or based on the book that I wrote in 2005, Emotional Quality Management, I will define EQ as the more simple things, which is our ability to understand our own and others emotions and to use it constructively. So there's a simple way to explain about EQ. Well, as a rule of thumb, to understand about the EQ, I think is to divide EQ as two major important parts, which is EQ consists of our ability to manage ourselves, or we usually call it as a intrapersonal and The second part is our ability to manage others, which is usually we call this as the interpersonal part. So from all the definitions and explanations about emotional intelligence, the concept and the explanations of Daniel Goleman is the one that highly used around the world. So that as the definitions that how we define people with emotional intelligence in the workplace or during the workshop or training of emotional intelligence, these are the basic skills that we trained. So what are these emotional intelligence competencies? There are four parts of emotional intelligence that we need to acquire, or these are the concept of emotional intelligence that we use to define if certain person have a high EQ. What are those 
competencies. The first is self-awareness. Self-awareness, of course, is consists of the ability to understand our strength and our weakness. And self-awareness also consists of the ability for us to use our strength to overcome our weakness. The second part is self-management. Self-management consists of the ability to control ourselves, to control our anger, control our mood, our daily mood, and also be able to overcome our obstacles to achieve our goals. That self-management. The third part is social awareness. Social awareness consists of the ability to have the empathy and also the awareness of about the environment of the situation around us and also our awareness about our organizations and also the fourth part is the relationship management the relationship management consists of our ability to build relation with others to communicate with others to influence others and also to make a good relationship then don a lot of conflict with others that are the four important competencies to divine about the emotional intelligence level of certain people. So these are all the understanding and explanations about emotional intelligence. So another thing that I want to address is to answer some of the frequently asked questions or issue that people usually address during the training uh, of emotional intelligence. The first question is, is EQ is something can be learned and can something can be trained or is EQ can be trainable or learnable? The answer is actually yes. According to a lot of research, who conducting an experiment for the people with a low EQ, after several times being trained and give an understanding about EQ, actually they can raise the level of the EQ. So from this point of view, then we can say yes that through training and understanding of the EQ and the competences, how to use the emotional intelligence wisely, we actually can raise our level of emotional intelligence. The second question is, is emotional intelligence has any relation with our age? Again, the answer is yes. So based on a lot of research as well, that the level of our age or the higher or the older that we are, actually the level of our emotional intelligence is level is higher in fact based on emotional intelligence book by daniel goldman he actually mentioned that when people reach their 40s the level of emotional intelligence actually is significantly raised when they reach the age of 40. so it's a very good news then in so the, we here we make a conclusion that by people get more and more older, they actually the level of emotional intelligence is also higher. The third question is, or the last question is, is gender had to do with the emotional intelligence? Is any difference between male and female in terms of the emotional intelligence? Actually, the answer is quite interesting that in terms of the level of the score of emotional intelligence between male and female, actually, it's not really different. But there's certain parts of the EQ competency which make the male and the female quite slightly different. For example, male is found to be good in terms of their stress tolerance, in terms of the assertiveness, and in terms of the self-esteem that they have. So these are the parts that male is slightly higher compared to the female. On the other hand, female is found to be more and better in terms of some of the aspect of the EQ, in terms of how the empathy, the emotional recognitions, and also how the female relate with others in, in terms of how to build the relationship is better compared to male. So these are the explanations. Of course, when they combine and when they compare, there's no, almost no difference between the male and the female. These are some of the explanations to answer some of the questions that are being raised about the emotional intelligence. And I hope these explanations will give you an understanding about what is emotional intelligence and how we can use and apply this emotional intelligence in our daily life. And I want to close my remark for one of the statements that I quote from my book. IQ makes you higher, but EQ makes you promoted. I'm Anthony Dio Martin. Be emotional intelligence always.